And we're taking a look across the southern uh, part of the Pacific Ocean right now because uh, the El Nino that has been around and very weak is starting to intensify. And you can see the orange to reddish color of the sea surface temperatures here right to the western part of South America and the Pacific Ocean. Uh, about a 1.5 degree increase in temperatures. That is very significant. So it looks like there will be an El Nino into the winter season. And if that happens, and it looks like it will, we might break our pattern of cold winters we had over the past couple of years and actually have a mild winter here. And California could have some help with their drought because generally they get very wet weather. And it looks like that's already happening. Uh, this El Nino pattern is pushing tropical systems to the north. Now they'll weaken as they get to the cold California current, but they're already bringing torrential rains to places like San Diego, Los Angeles, and also as far inland as Las Vegas. High temperatures, 82 today in Milwaukee, 84 Green Bay, 82 in Madison with 85 degrees out in La Crosse. So it was a beautiful day across the state, very summer-like temperatures. The dew points were high in the 60s across southeastern Wisconsin ahead of a cold front. Look at the 69 in Platteville all the way into the evening hours. But those dew points are starting to drop into the 50s. That's behind a cold front. And that cold front is moving in for overnight tonight. So temperatures in the evening hours, if you're going out, will still be very summer like 81 at 7 o'clock in Milwaukee, 75 in Waukesha. So beautiful summer like evening. Dew points still a little high, a little uncomfortable. Overnight low temperatures as temperatures drop into the 50s. Uh, we will see those dew points drop also 59 in Waukesha, 58 in West Bend, and also in Fond du Lac, 57 in Watertown and also in Beaver Dam with right around 60 degrees here in Milwaukee. There's a couple isolated showers that were on the radar for the evening hours. If you hit one of those, you're uh, unfortunately having some bad luck because they are few and far between. As we pull out on the satellite picture, not many clouds either, just the clouds associated with these couple of sprinkles and showers. So we're going to be clearing out overnight tonight. There's a cold front as it passes through overnight tonight, pushes all the rain south. And then we see clear skies overnight and sunshine to partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Dry air as this high pressure system moves in right through Wednesday. Small chance of an isolated shower developing inland on Wednesday. So for tonight, isolated showers before 8 o'clock, decreasing clouds after that, 60 degrees, less humid air slowly moving in. And tomorrow, cooler, less humid, lots of sunshine and 77. More of the same for tomorrow night. We'll see clearing skies, comfortable temperatures, 58 degrees and Right on into the middle of the week on Wednesday, lots of sunshine once again, seasonal temperatures, dry air, and a high of 78 degrees. Here's your Storm Team 4 seven-day forecast. Thursday, beautiful, sunny and 80 degrees. Friday, a lot of sunshine and 81. Next chance for showers and storms returns on Saturday, high 81. Sunday, sunshine and 80 degrees.